to Nursery Rhyme Story Time. I'm Miss Michelle, and this is our little friend, Baby Bear. Can you say hi, Baby Bear? No, no, you can't eat the camera. Come back, come back, come back. Well, kids, we're glad you joined us today. We're going to be doing this for the six weeks of summer reading. We're going to have our Nursery Rhyme Story Time, and We'll have our guests, Lady Dragon and Dr. Duck. They're staying with Miss Nicole in town at her house. And there just wasn't room for Baby Bear. No, he's a baby and he likes to be outside, play. You know how babies are. So he's going to stay with me here at the farm. This well, would you like to hear a story that I wrote? Would you? Would you like to hear it, Baby Bear? Here's my story. It always starts with. Once upon a time. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Once upon a time, there was a singing dragon. La, 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 la. Ooh, did you hear that? I heard that. She lived in a big castle on top of a big mountain. Oh, oh, is this story about war? Oh, hi, Lady Dragon. How are you today? I'm good. I'm so good. I'm excited to hear the story about me. <laughs> oh, Lady Dragon, this, this story is actually about a different dragon. Oh, okay. Well, then, um, let's see. Does this dragon have a castle that is as big as mine? <laughs> well, this dragon had a castle that was so big that it could hold all the king's horses and all the king's men and one pig. A pig? What? That's right. The dragon named the pig Peter. Here's Peter, and he's got his wig on. She liked to dress him in a wig and feed him tea and biscuits. Oh, look at him, isn't he cute? Oh, look at him. He's a pig in a wig. Oh, and he loves tea and biscuits like I do. Yes, I do. I know, I know, Lady Dragon. I know how much you love tea and biscuits. Yes. Um, except that Peter the pig liked worms better than biscuits. So, every morning, Peter would go down to the garden at the castle and he would dig for <gasps> worms. Oh, you like worms, don't you, Peter? Oh, can you get it? Can you get that one? Can you get that one? And that's the end. Oh my, what a fun story! But I think, I think, I think, listen, I think I hear some clever, clever rhyming words, Miss Michelle. I heard ig words. Yes, I did. I heard hmm, big mm -hmm, and pig and wig. Oh, yes, and one more. Dig. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I sure did. That's right, Lady Dragon. Those were the rhyming words in my story. And now I think I hear my tea kettle. Well, darling, it's so fun to hear your stories. I appreciate your sharing time and nice to meet you, baby. Oh, you're so cute. And a little pig. Oh, you're so cute in your wig, too. But I must go now. Ta-ta! Ta-ta! <laughs> Ta-ta, Lady Dragon. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Isn't Lady Dragon fun, baby? There. Oh, I know. I know. I just love Lady Dragon. Don't you love Lady Dragon, kid? Well, yes, I love you too, Lady Dragon. Oh, yes, you're cute. Yes, yes, yes. Well, kids, now's the time when we're going to do a nursery rhyme. And today's nursery rhyme is Humpty Dumpty. Do you know that one? It's about an egg. Quack, 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 quack. 
Did I hear an egg? Was it a big one like a duck egg? <laughs> Look, baby bear, it's Dr. Duck. Hi, Dr. Duck. Hey there, Miss Michelle. Who do you got there in your lap? Well, this is Baby Bear. He's one of our new friends at Storytime. Can you say hi, Baby Bear? Are you going to give Dr. Duck a kiss? No, no, no. Come back here. Come back here. Sit down. Well, yes, Humpty Dumpty, back to your question. Humpty Dumpty was supposed to be a great big egg. And duck eggs are big, Dr. Duck. You're right. But I think. Humpty Dumpty was much bigger. Well, let's hear this uh, nursery rhyme about uh, Humpty Dumpty. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go, kids. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Oh, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh, wait a second. Did I hear that he fell off of, or no, wait, 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 how'd I go? It said Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Oh no, he fell down. Yes, he did. And you know what happens to an egg when you drop it, kids? What happens? I know. It, it breaks into a million pieces. It's a mess. <laughs> it would be a big mess. Well, maybe not a million pieces, but a whole lot of pieces. I think I can understand, though, you know, if you sit on a wall, kids, you got to be careful. You might fall off a wall. <laughs> oh, I heard something, kids. Did you hear two words that run? Dr. Duck said, wall and fall. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> I sure did make some rhyming words. Oh, yeah, Lady Dragon, I'm coming. It's time for snack time now. She's got the tea ready for us, so I gotta go. Sorry, I gotta waddle out of here right now, kids. Sorry, Miss Michelle. I'll see you later. Hey, Doc. Hey, Dr. Duck. Yeah. What What kind of snack are you gonna have today? Cheese and crackers, of course. Wah, 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 well, it's time to say goodbye, kids. Now, don't forget to read your books this summer, okay? This is summer reading, and we hope that you'll join us here again on Tuesdays at one o'clock for Nursery Rhyme Storytime. And be sure to check out the website at mclib.net where you can see all the summer reading events. Bye-bye. <laughs>